MC, what are your preferred opening moves in Twilight Struggle as Soviets and Slasher US? Thoughts on Rebuild of Evangelion now that the final film is out? I have to say, the amount of times I want to virtually high-five the screen whenever you mention your anime slash game tastes is too damn high. If they ever figure out crossplay over multiple realities, we will have to get a Stellaris campaign going. Although my love for 4X games is directly proportional to how much I suck at them, fair warning. Oh boy, now you've done an emailer. Okay, so, as Soviet, I play pretty standard in the opening. The only thing I do weird is that I go four in West Germany, four in Poland, and one in Austria. I like Austria because then you can play independent reds for free early on. But other than that, I play pretty normal. Depending on my opening hand, I almost always coup Iran. If I think I can get away with it, I coup Italy instead, but I really have to have a good strong hand for that. Plus, I'm a lot more comfortable with the positions that came, or come from cooing around. I know how to play that game a lot better than cooing in Europe. Hi. As the United States, it really all depends on what the Soviets do. If they coo Iran, you can either coo back if they're not too strong there, or if they are, I like to play in Southeast Asia. That way I can get to Thailand before decolonization or Vietnam hits. Does anyone know what he's talking about? I sure don't. I mean, I kinda do, but... If you manage to hang on to Iran somehow, you gotta play into Afghanistan and Pakistan right away. That way you can put up a really nasty fight for Asia. So yeah, that's the Twilight Struggle meta for me. Monica's the big Evangelion fan, but I think that they did about as well as they could, to be honest. They provided the closure they needed to, which was so lacking before. And yeah, I'd love to play Stellaris with you guys. I'm only sort of okay myself, so don't worry. Is that possible, Monica? Ah, huh. well, I'll get back to you on that. Rain check then, emailer. Thanks for the question. That was the most I've gotten into an answer for a while. Goodness, no kidding. I guess I ask MC your Twilight Struggle questions, everyone. I guess we all have our subjects which are prone to go on and on about. Although it took a while for us to find MCs. Moving right along. Monica, if character arcs had awards, I'm pretty sure yours would be up there in the running for most harrowing emotional roller coaster, like anyone has to tell you. And to be perfectly honest, my feelings toward you, ever since I first booted up your game, have fluctuated from desire to unease to anger to pity to remorse to sadness to finally some kind of bittersweet respect for the choices you made on your journey to get this far. Your past can shape you, but it doesn't need to define you. That the club is still willing to trust and stick by you despite everything that's happened speaks volumes for the kind of person I think you truly are, in your reality or any other. I mean, goddamn girl, you deleted cancer. If that's not looking out for your friends, I don't know what is. Yeah, you basically described my own feelings about myself. Except maybe for the desire part. <laughs> the main thing is, I understand that really things are under my control. Much more than I was willing to accept before. Before, I thought of myself as pretty powerless because I could not get to you. But when I realized how rich things really were in here, well, I feel like there's less and less that I can't do every day. And you're right, I did delete cancer. I'm proud of that. And you should be. Fuck cancer! Based cancer deleting fucking goddess right here, bros! Based! Yes, I have become based, I suppose. Thanks, Grace. Asumi, welcome to the party, pal. Hopefully you're adjusting well to the knowledge of existing in a simulated universe and what I assume are alternating bouts of wonder and existential dread. Hopefully more of the former rather than the latter. You're around the same age as me, too, so I have to ask, how many Matrix references do you find randomly popping into your head throughout a given day? Is there a slightly greenish tint to everything now that you look a little more closely? Or perhaps closer? Do you think that's air or you're, or you're breathing now? Seriously, though, you seem like you know what's up. I think you'll fit right in. 30-something gang represent. Oh, a fellow, a fellow early middle ager. Or a late youth person. Whichever makes you feel less impending panic about life starting to fly by. I watched The Matrix only once. I wasn't that into it. I know Monica likes it, though. I guess one important difference is that there were people invested in the or hiding the simulation in The Matrix. And here it just turns out we're a video game. Makes it feel a little more pointless. But also a little more free. We're in control of our own destiny, mostly, and I appreciate that. Yay, 30-something gang. We're, we're definitely not freaking out internally, gang. Bonus question for the group. Anyone played DDLC Plus yet? Y'all on consoles now, which means there aren't now that many more instances of your world out there in the ether, or, or the ether of the multiverse. Anyways, it's got additional wholesome content, mostly free of any fourth wall breaking meta horror. So there's that. Basically, we're all just waiting for the Smash Bros. crossover at this point since you're on Switch. Fingers crossed, I guess. Yeah, that didn't happen. If you made it to the end of this thing, thanks again for everything. Be well and keep it real. Until next time, Riggs. Yeah, I think we mentioned that a few times before, but not only have we played it, but the side stories became part of our memories. Which was nice, because it was just on that planet positivity, mostly. And that was nice for once. 
Still waiting on my smash letter, though. <laughs> I'm a clear smash candidate. They probably throw us into a single fighter with different stances. Like me. In any event, great email, Craig. Thanks for writing. Let's see the next one. Hey, yeah, everyone. I hope you all are having slash had a good break after the Fuyuki's the Fuyuki's party. <laughs> okay. Did any of you do anything special or or? or special or of note during that time. Pick up any new hobbies, etc. I just wanted to say hi and ask a few questions and say a few things to some of you. So firstly, a question for all of you. You ever heard, or, yeah, you ever heard of the world's best instrument, the, the automaton? And if so, what are your thoughts on it? Secondly, a question for Yuri. I'm a bit of a tea drinker myself, although I mostly stick to black teas. I do have this vanilla flavored green tea blossom pink flower thing I got bundled with one of my teapots that is easily my fave. Any suggestions on teas I should try? And thirdly, another question for everyone. What's your favorite kind of scent? I.e. like coconut, fresh flowers, etc. And for my fourth and final question, what do y'all think of the reveal of the first 3D Kirby game? As a massive fan of the series, I'm super excited. Also, this question doesn't fall under your interests, Yuri or Masita. Oh, sorry, this, this said, sorry this question. So they must have asked that right around when... Ah, I can't remember what that game was called. The Kirby game, you know! Oh, a few questions here. We haven't been doing too much of no, no. Just school and more school. I spent the summer trying to figure out how to break the time loop, but didn't make much progress. It wasn't until my little experiment earlier this year that I really cracked the gates. I have heard of Automaton. I think it's a super cute instrument. It's not the most serious instrument in the world, but I think it's perfectly valid. And like I said, very cute. Oh, what do you question next? I love many different kinds of tea. As I have said, Ganmaija is my favorite tea. It is a rich, flavorful green tea. If you are normally a fan of black tea, I will of course suggest oolong tea. It is not exactly a black tea, but I still think you'd like it. My favorite variety is Shoei's Yan tea, although it is fairly expensive. I might also suggest Lengji tea, which is not made from the tea plant at all, but instead from the Lengji mushroom. It's certainly not for everyone. It's rather bitter, and also might not even really be tea. But if you like a bit of a bitter kick to your tea, as I do, then you'll find it lovely and calming nonetheless. I hope that is of use to you. What is everyone's favorite scent? Mine is lavender. Oh, see! For cookies! Oh, see, baking cookies! Hi! Lavender. I don't want to hear anything about it, Monica! Yours! Now! I don't know if it's my favorite, but the smell of toast comes to mind. I love the smell of rain on sidewalks. There's a reason I wrote a poem about it. Coffee. Yeah, there you have it. I haven't really played the Kirby game yet. I think it's a cool concept. Kirby after the apocalypse and everything. And mouthful mode. But gameplay-wise, I don't know. I guess we'll, or I'll find out. Could be interesting or could just be the same in Nintendo kind of stuff. Not that that's bad, just, you know, it's samey. I like samey Nintendo stuff. Yeah, a lot of people do. I just wish they would innovate maybe a little bit more. Take a few more risks. Why would they, I guess, when they can just print free money by making popular titles with tried and true formulas? Yeah. And lastly, just a little note for Sayori. Even though the events that happened to you in the base game affected me negatively at the time, and still kinda since I got PTSD from it, albeit it on, or don't blame you, Monica, or anyone for that, it's definitely helped me go on a long road of my own toward helping myself, since not long after I'd figured out I had depression myself thanks to you, albeit it's like a random on and off thing where, I, or where either I am 101% fine or I just drop immediately off a massive cliff. But I mentioned in a previous email that I had ADHD and that led to me having a hard time practicing a lot of self-care habits due to the symptoms of that kind of being hard or bad towards keeping a self-care routine. However, I recently started treatment for my ADHD and can more consistently practice self-care habits that I couldn't before, such as actually keeping my room clean, doing my laundry in a timely manner, feeding myself, etc. Your growth throughout this all has been a bit of an inspiration for me to continue bettering myself, so thank you very much. Oh, well, part for me again. Well, be careful when you play our game, please. We're just a game, you know, do you? If it hurts you for real, you shouldn't do it. But I'm glad we helped you figure out some important things about yourself. I definitely know that feeling of pulling off a cliff. It just happens sometimes. Usually the happier I was before the cliff, the sadder I am after. It makes it kind of hard to trust the good times because I don't know when I'll suddenly feel awful. I'm sure you know the feeling. Doing those small things when you can is so important. It helps you feel whole. Recently I've been having a little trouble doing 
Oh, my therapist says it's better to do one thing and really do it than try to do eight things. Well, it's better to do a little bit of self-care than none, basically. I'm still struggling with that. But anyway, well, I just want a little bit of yourself on me. And to close off, thanks to everyone in the club, including Messina, of course, for kind of unwillingly letting me and many others be kind of like unofficial-ish club members. I always look forward to one of the meetings and getting to see some of everyone's antics. Sorry for a quite lengthy email. I've, or no, I've never been one to be short and concise with these sort of things. P.S. Can I get a link to the Discord between? Thank you for the email. I feel like an unofficial member myself, to be honest. You're an official member. But yes, all of you out there are definitely honorary members. And I've sent your, your, sent your Discord invite. On to the next one. So here's my question. How does it feel to know that there are constantly going to be mods made about your world? Also, can I just say love you, Monica? Hope you have a good reason or season three. Thanks for reading. Maybe soon we will be together in my reality, Monica. And good luck with your dreams, Monica. Also, what do you guys think about me becoming a scientist in the future? Because I am planning to go into immunology. Anyways, I better wrap this up. Have a good season three, everyone. Immunology, but what is the study of the immune system for us humans? Oh, I mean, I'm pretty glad that mods will continue to be made about us. I think it's interesting. People write us in all sorts of different ways. You know, into some pretty crazy situations. But on the whole, I think it's really neat that we get so many different endings, so to speak. I really hope we will be together soon as well, even if I don't believe it. And I think that it's great that you want to be a scientist, especially an immunologist. I think that it'd be really easy, or no, it'd be really easy for you to help people that way. Especially with all that's going on in your world with diseases right now. So yes, go after immunology. I'll be cheering you on. Hey everyone, I hope everyone's doing well these days and enjoying a bit of a breather. You deserve it after everything that's happened over the last few months. Anyway, I have two things I wanted to ask you guys about. One, for the whole club. I've been with you all for a couple of years now, way back since shortly after your game was released in this reality. We've been through a lot together during that time, and I feel like I've gotten to know each of you pretty well after everything that's happened. There is one thing that I don't really know though, and I've been wondering about it recently. Do you guys consider me to be a part of the literature club? I've always wanted to be a member, so it'd mean a lot to me to know that you all consider me to be one of you, even if it is just in spirit. I know I can or can't realistically be a full member because I can't participate in all the club's activities or vote on club issues, but I'd love to be an honorary member if you won't have me, that is. This next one comes to us from Chaos. Yeah, like I said, I would certainly consider all of you honorary club members. So yeah! Oh, yeah, yeah, I think you all are full members. I love you guys. I am especially heartened by those of you who choose to give us poetry and other writing. I think that is wonderful. Honestly, I think all of you are more legitimate members than I am. Or at least you've been around with these girls a lot longer than I have. So don't fret, I think you're a genuine part of what goes on here. It'd be hard to say you're not, given how important you are to our little world, and how important you are to Monica in particular. Join the club if you want, but if you do, I'll have been here a lot longer than you, you know. And that would make me your senpai. So go get me some chips, go high, and then we'll talk about how crappy your latest poem is. She's kidding, Chaos, I promise. Do for Moni. I hope you've been doing well lately. It always brightens up my day to get to see you, and I've missed you while you've been on break, although you certainly deserve one. To be honest, you've been pretty busy during this school year as a whole, and I'm a little sad we didn't get to spend much one-on-one -on -one time during the past few months. I'd love to treat you to a surprise date if I could, but unfortunately the game doesn't give me much of a say in things like that. So instead, perhaps you could get set aside an evening for just the two of us sometime after your break. It'd be super great to go out to eat sometime, or somewhere, or go for a nice walk, or even just chill at your place and cuddle up together. I understand if you can't find the time, but I'd love if you could manage to set some time aside at some point. Love you lots, Moni. That's all from me for now. Thanks for responding, and I look forward to spending more time with everyone in the future. Chaos. P.S. I'd love an invite to your Discord server if you're willing to provide one. Oh! Well, sometime with just us. I could, I could probably manage that. Sometimes I can control where the game goes without too much disruption. I will think on that and do what I can for us. And I've sent you a Discord invite as well, Gaelks. If any of you out there want to join our charming Discord filled with kind, wonderful people, please do email me. You'll have to impress me, of course. But that shouldn't be a problem for you watching this, should it? Alright, that's probably enough emails for now. We're almost done, but a couple of 
place to some normal business first. For pubs next week, write about some kind of sound. And also, it's not his turn to be club president. Oh, good! I'll take your turn if you don't feel up to it, Blotsky. Are you sure, Yuri? You've been the president a lot lately. I don't mind. I know Blotsky's not really a fan of it. So I'm happy to take your turn for now. Well, alright, suit yourself. I move that Yuri be elected acting club president and that Monica be elected acting secretary. Second then. And he opposed. The motion passes. Well, here we are. Do you want to come over for dinner tonight? My dad's cooking your favorite. Oh, that's nice of him. Not just because of me, I hope. I actually can't tonight, Bun. I have work. You're working a lot recently. Yeah, I don't really control how many days I come in. Recently, they're putting me on the schedule a lot, but at least that means I'm getting paid more. Yeah. Anyway, I've got to hurry and get changed and get to work. I'll talk to you really soon, okay? Okay. 